Welcome back, everyone. We're here again uh, with the guys from Two and a Half Men Catering. Uh, still looking for the half man somewhere around here. <laughs> Juju. <laughs> he's, he's, he just, he just stepped bumping, on Barry's bumping her on our pants, <laughs> <laughs> I feel something happened, like a little, a little rat terrier or something down there. Something pulling on the pants. What are you doing, Will? Yeah. <laughs> so we got our pot going. It's uh, looking pretty nice over there. Smelling good, by the way. Thank you, thank you. So at this point, we're just going to let it. How long would you put this on for, like, at, at this stage? Um, I think I'd say 30 minutes, uh, 45 minutes on a slow simmer. Uh, I like it to kind of absorb all the roux and stuff. Yeah, and go put at the it. flavors together. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And yeah. not eat it right away. Just let it sit and uh, sit for a little while after it's done. Sounds good. You know, and if you, if you, had, you got a little group of guys at the camp, like you were saying earlier, you, you put that on for two, three hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You usually drink for a while. Sip, 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 That's sip, right. Sip. You, then you taste better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, the more lies you tell and the more water you drink, the longer it takes to eat. <laughs> and want to remind everyone home, drink responsibly. That's, That's right. It. That's right. <laughs> and if you want to copy the recipe that Barry's done for us today, you can go on our website here at the station at KGCG.com. <laughs> Click on the What's Cooking yeah, Show. me up. <laughs> Don't you have more at me. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you made a mistake there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can come by either store here, Big Wiggly here in Opelousas, or go by Jason at the Steamboat, and we have copies of recipes that we can get off the internet, this recipe or any other recipe done here on the show. And if you'd like to be a guest chef, or you don't even have to be a chef, just yeah. a cook, just come out and... Uh, Call the people at KGCG and they'll schedule an appointment. It's Kathy in the front. Yep, and cook for us. Or you can also tune in to some of the uh, videos that we have of the shows mm -hmm. on YouTube. So. Oh, yeah, and email us too, by the yes, way. Yes, sir. It'll be easier. So, wait. Good time. Right. Okay, great. So, guys, tell us more about the catering business. I mean, contact numbers and what kind of services do you offer? Well, first of all, we don't have any uh, shrimp bowls, <laughs> okay. and we don't have any punch bowls, and and we don't do frou frou stuff. But <laughs> if you got a group of people who want some, some jambalaya or uh, catfish coubillon <laughs> or gumbo or stew or what else or alligator or whatever, what, what, what it is, how we got started is, he's got the camp, I've got the outdoor kitchen, and and we all get together and we cook for 20, 30 people at a time anyway. And we have fun doing it. And we like to cook. We like the company. We, you can tell by the way we banter with each other. We like to, <laughs> we like cut, to up. Yeah, we like <laughs> cut up. So we decided we'd do it as a pastime, as a hobby. But we decided that when it, it's not fun anymore, when it becomes work, then it's time to stop and eat again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We, we're not going to do it if it's work. Right, no. right. No. That's understandable. And our third guy, he's pretty much our critique. He does cook. Uh, but he some spoons he, down there? But <laughs> <laughs> it tastes <like> spoons. <laughs> he, uh, uh, he usually here, and he you. usually tells us what we're doing wrong, <laughs> and we uh, and we, we compliment each other. I mean, we well, we cook, and, and we're cooking like for a, a bunch of people. Uh, sometimes I wouldn't say, well, how about doing this? And other say, okay, fine. And then we all get along good. Uh, we we you know we, we have fun doing it. Worked uh, out well. Um, two weeks ago about. in the New Iberia cook-off, out of 96 booths, we came out second. That's Great. crazy. Fantastic. Yeah, that's that's good odds. 96 <laughs> booths. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's a lot. So that's something to brag about. Yeah, mm -hmm. we, 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 but we enjoy doing something it, that you know. big though. Something that big. I know it's. I know personally from the gumbo cook-off that we do every year. It's very hard to judge. And when you're talking about 96, that's extremely <coughs> hard to judge. Mm -hmm. So if you get anywhere in the top three, or if you place at all, that's a major accomplishment. Because be honest with you, that many. Once you get to the top three, any one of them could, depending on who the judges are, could could could, could have been first. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Well, all of us four here we each taste gumbo and probably taste or dislike something because of the way we cook. Yeah, you know, and I like all, a thick gumbo. Everyone has a different you know. palate. You know, everyone has yeah. a different preference. Right. So this, it all depends on the judges. That if they had different judges, you might have won mm -hmm. first. You know? Yeah, that's right. right. And and like you said, by the seasoning. He likes black pepper, I like white pepper. And, and and if you're judging, you can tell the difference as you're tasting, so. Well, this is my question. When y'all cooking, and, and like y'all talking about an outdoor kitchen or a camp, what do y'all use, white pepper or black pepper? The black, black and red uses. Depends on who's cooking. It all depends on which place you're at. It all depends on you're It's my right. place tonight. I don't even own white pepper. pepper. But if he comes to my outdoor kitchen, he, he, he can't tell me anything about what it, what it tastes like. Mm. He, no. <laughs> and I, <laughs> he comes and he don't say nothing. He just hey, that's a good deal, though. Or he'll leave with an extra shoe. Well, we, 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 you know, we cooked from, we barbecued lamb before, we've uh, done, I mean, we cooked a cow tongue, we talked about that mm -hmm. earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we've cooked as many as 14 cow tongues at a time. Mm. Wow. Uh, and, you know, some people like to cook them whole, which is not 
too pretty to look at, but All right. you, know, you ready you to play? Yeah, let's do yeah, it. Okay. Let's go ahead and put it up. Uh, make so sure it looks so pretty enough. Cool. Okay, well, uh, it'd be pretty as me. So here we go. <laughs> well, maybe well, really, why are you doing that? Why don't you give everybody the, <laughs> the contact number where they can contact it? Our contact numbers are here. Uh, my number is 337-466-1299. Barry's is 337-546-0613. And the short man on the bottom, Junior Badron, his number is 337-466-0071. Is that fine, Joe? Yeah, he said that's fine. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I couldn't hear me so low down there. <laughs> yeah, that's one, perfect. Uh, one, more, one more meatball. Put it on the back side. Give it a, a little mouth. I think more stew a little bit more. I like a lot of gravy. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jay. Can't, can't beat that. Wipe them off a little bit. Okay. I asked him to make it pretty and <laughs> put in my plate. I just licked it. <laughs> Since it's yours, I'm behaving. I'll let you wipe it. <laughs> and again, we want to remind everybody if you want to look uh, fresh ingredients that he used here right, today, go we'll buy your Piggly Wiggly stores here in Opelousas. Two locations, 1305 Heather Drive or 8410 Highway 182 North. Or click on the What's Cooking Show and get a copy of the recipe and um, all the other recipes that we've done on the show. And again, Barry and uh, we really want to thank y'all for coming into the show, and we we know we're gonna be eating good today. And uh, you know, that's like y'all saying y'all y'all cook, y'all don't bring like shrimp molds and stuff. Y'all just do like a big meal. That's right. They just, if they want a certain <laughs> thing, they just call y'all and tell y'all what they want. We cook from from five to five hundred. We don't care. Uh -huh. You know, shrimp molds get old after a while anyway. Well, they're not only that. First of all, do you, can you picture us making a shrimp mold? <laughs> 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 it might look like an alligator when you finish. <laughs> alligator bowl. <laughs> I don't know if you want to go with that. <laughs> we won't even talk about punch bowls. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'd like to thank you all uh, real quick for coming, guys. Thank well, you thank very much. It's anytime, been a pleasure. Anytime you're Thank you all so much. Thank you. And when thank you, time you, Junior. Want to come back and, uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you, Junior. Oh, yeah. Thanks for coming to the show, guy. <laughs> anytime you all want to come back, feel free to do so. And we want to thank you all for watching the What's Cooking Show and join us back next week. We're going to have another exciting guest come on. And, As uh, always. We'll be eating good every Tuesday. Yes, like I always. I'm and thank you all for, for watching the What's Cooking Show. Watching KDCG TV, uniquely Acadiana.